Okay. So today is our lesson. Okay, we start reading. Today we do reading class. Okay, who want to go first? Just read the title. Okay, long. Child slavery. What is a hero? What is a hero? Some people say a hero is someone who writes evil. Some people say a hero is someone who defends the weak. Others people say a hero is someone who risks her or say his or her safety to protect others. Iqbal was all of these things. And he was only 12 years old. Iqbal was born in a rural village in Pakistan. Iqbal's father left the family after he was born. Iqbal's mother cleaned houses. She had very little money and could not take care of Iqbal and his brothers and sisters. At the age of four, Iqbal's mother sold him to the carpet factory owner for $12. Many carpets in Pakistan are made by child workers like Iqbal. These children have no freedom and are slaves to the factory owners. They work in terrible conditions for very long hours. Iqbal worked 12 hours a day, six days a week. He couldn't do anything normal children do. He couldn't go to school or play with his friends. There were many rules at the carpet factory. If Iqbal broke a rule, he was beaten. If he talked to the other children while he was working, he was beaten. If he made a mistake on a carpet, he was beaten. If he became sick, he was also beaten. This was no place for this was no place for children. Working at carpet factory was very hard work on Iqbal's body. He could not sit down. He had to squat all day while he he made the carpets. This was very bad for his back, and he had trouble walking. He also didn't get enough food to eat. His body never fully developed. At the age of 12, he was the size of a six-year-old six boy. He developed breathing problems because the children couldn't open the windows and breathe fresh air. It was very hot, but the owner kept the window closed. The owner didn't, don't, didn't care about the children's health. He was only worried about protecting the carpets. One day, Iqbal decided to escape. He ran away and went to the police. Iqbal told the policeman about the carpet factory. He told him about all the children who worked there and about the terrible working conditions. Iqbal thought the police would help him, but he was wrong. The policeman was a friend of the carpet factory owner. He took Iqbal back to the factory and told the owner to put Iqbal in chains. Iqbal didn't trust the police, but he didn't give up. One day, he heard about a BLLF meeting. The BLLF is an organization that helps free children workers in Pakistan. Iqbal ran away again to go to the meeting. The BLLF president was a lawyer. He helped Iqbal to get legal papers that helped him to become free. Iqbal was only 10 years old, uh, but he was a slave in the carpet factory for more than half of his life. Okay, good. Sita, go on. <laughs> Iqbal didn't want freedom only for himself. He also wanted freedom for all the children in the car pack factory. He began to speak at BLF meeting. Iqbal was only 10, but he was not afraid to speak to a large group of people. He was a confident and, big and powerful speaker. He talked about his experience to many people and his words encouraged thousands to seek freedom.
Iqbal didn't only encourage children to seek freedom. He also helped teach people in other countries about the children who made a Pakistani carpet. This was very bad for the carpet industry. International sales went down, and many carpet factories lost a lot of money. Iqbal and his family received many that threat. Iqbal threat. was threat. Threat. Yeah. Um, Iqbal was still just a little boy, but he was very brave. He didn't just talk. One time, he went to a new carpet factory, factory and uh, pre pretended. pretended pretended to be one of the regular child worker. He collected information about the children who work there, and this information have three hundred of children in at that factory in uh, 1994 Iqbal traveled to Sweden and the United States he was uh, re recognized for his courage and success in teaching people about child slavery during his trip to the US Iqbal wanted to meet children his own age he so he went to Broad, uh, met Dove Middle School. He talked to the student about his experience as a child slave. He also talked about children like all him all like him all over the world who never have the chance to go to school. The student of Broad Middle were very moved by Iqbal word. Before he left, they wrote hundreds of letter in support of Iqbal. After he left, they began writing letter to the U.S. Um, polite politician asking asking them to fight again, child labor. Okay, politician. This one is politicians, U.S. politician asking them to fight against child labor. Okay, let's move to who is there? Ravid, you can finish this one. When, um, teacher, what is this? Just Iqbal is the name, just the Iqbal, Pakistani name, kind of name in, yeah, Iqbal, something like that, I don't know. Ik Iqbal returned, he took some of the letters he received from the American students and put them on his wall. He... He make he made many friends there and didn't want to forget them. He was planning to return to the US to continue studying after he finished high school. An American un university recognize his work fighter for the rights of children and offered him a score scholarship full scholarship full scar full scholarship yeah Iqbal would never get the chance to go to school in the US or continue his studies at home. When he returned to Pakistan, he went to his uncle's house with his cousins. On the way, Iqbal was shot in the back and killed. Oh, no. Yeah. 
um what i go on from this part No one knows who's killed Iqbal, but many people think it was the carpet industry. Iqbal's death was a straight steady, steady, but but his life was an. Inspiration. He was only uh, two, well. two, <laughs> twelve years old, but he was a true hero. In just two years, in uh, he helped three thousand children become free. Uh, the courage, the courage of a small boy to stand up against. The powerful carpet industry did lead more people around the world. The children of broad meadows continues to remember Iqbal and his fight for the right of children. Go on. Every year they visit all the stores in their town and ask them whether children make any of the products they sell. They also have raised money to open schools in Pakistan and other countries in equal it memory. Okay. Say you can go on. Child labor is still a problem in many countries, such as India and Pakistan, but it's also a problem in some countries in Europe, too. Around the world, there are one, 158 million child workers between the age of 5 and 14. In the worst situations, children are forced to become soldiers and prostitutes. Even in which country where child labor problems are rare, there is an economic connection. Who is making the products you buy? Could it be a little boy or girl like egg ball? Okay. Yeah, Can you finish it. But we're gonna go back again and read it again. Okay. Who wanna start again? First. Good, hurry up. Please. Ravid, you can start again. Ah, so John, you come. Just come. You start this whole paragraph until here. Okay, you cannot talk. I think your microphone is on right now. Okay, try to speak. Can you speak?
for today you can start read again if someone cannot read i don't know what happening okay. uh, what is a hero some people says a hero is someone who fights evil some people says a hero is someone who defends the weak others others people say a hero is someone who risks his or her safety to protect others Iqbal must see over the all of the things and he was only 12 years old Iqbal was born was born in a rural village in Pakistan. Iqbal's father left the family after he was he, he was born. Iqbal's mother cleaned houses. She had very determined and could not take care of Iqbal's and his brothers and sisters. At age of four, Iqbal's mother sold him to a carpet factory owner for $12. Many carpets in Pakistan are made by child workers like Iqbal. These children have no freedom and are slaves to factory owners. They work in terrible conditions for very long hours. Iqbal worked 12 hours a day, six days a week. He couldn't do anything normal children do. He couldn't go to school or play with his friends. There was many rules at the carpet factory. If Iqbal broke a rule, he was a Bitten. If he talked to uh, the other children while he was working, he was bitten. Yeah, good. Okay, so Chuck, can you continue from this one? Let's see what you can do. Or you cannot hear at all, I don't know. If Sukchon doesn't hear, say you can continue. My teacher? Yeah. If he made a mistake on a carpet, he was bitten. If he became sick, he was also bitten. There's no place for children. Working at the carpet factory was very hard on Egg Ball's body. He could not sit down. He had to squat all day while he made the carpet. This was very bad for his back. And he had trouble walking. He also didn't get enough food to eat. His body never fully developed. At the age of 12, he was the size of a six-year-old six boy. He also developed breathing problems because the children couldn't open the windows and breathe fresh air. It was very hot, but the owner kept the windows closed. The owner didn't care about the children's health. He was only worried about protecting the carpets. One day, Eggball decided to escape. He ran away and went to the police. Eggball told a policeman about the carpet factory. He told him all about all the children who work there and about the terrible working conditions. Eggball thought the police would help him, but he was wrong. The policeman was a friend of the carpet factory owner. He took Eggball back to the factory and told the owner to put Eggball in the chains. Eggball didn't trust the police, but he didn't give up. One day, he heard about BLLF meeting. The BLLF is an organization that helps free child workers in Pakistan. Eggball ran away again to go to the meeting. The BLLF 
president was a lawyer. He helped Iqbal get leg legal papers that helped him become free. Iqbal was only 10 years old, but he was a slave in the carpet factory for more than half of his life. Good. Thank you, teacher. Okay, move a little bit more. Pizat, can you read now or you can still cannot talk? Okay, Ravid, you can read again here. Iqbal didn't want freedom only for himself. He also wanted freedom for all the children in the carpet factory. He began to speak at BLLF meetings. Iqbal was only 10, but he was not afraid to speak to a large group of people. He was a confident and powerful speaker. He talked about his experience to many people and his words encouraged thousands to seek freedom. Okay. Iqbal didn't only... Uh, Go on, yeah, yeah. Only encourage children to seek freedom he also helped teach people in other countries about the children who make who made Pakistan knee. It's like that. Yeah. Pakistan knee carpets. This was very bad for the carpet fat uh, carpet industry. International sales went down and many carpet factories lost a, a lot of money. Iqbal and his family received many death threats. Iqbal was still just a little boy, but he was very brave. He didn't just talk. One time he went to a new carpet factory and pretend to be one of the regular child worker. He collect information about the ch children who work there. And this information helped free thousands of children at that factory. So do I go on? No, you say yeah. stop right here. So that you can continue this one. Mm. In 1994, Iqbal traveled to Sweden and the United States. He was recognized for his incorrect for his courage and success in teaching people about child slavery. During his trip to the US, Iqbal wanted to meet children his own age. So he went to Broad Meadow Middle School. He talked to the student about his experience as a slave. He also talked about children like him all over the world who never have the chance to go to school. The student of Broad Middle were Mary moved by Iqbal word. Before he left, they wrote hundreds of letters in support of Iqbal. After he left, he began to write letter to the US um polit politician politician asking them to fight against child labor. Okay, good. One more. Okay, long. You can start here. 
when Iqbal returned, he took some of the letters he received from the American students and put them on as well. He made many friends there and didn't want to forget them. He was planning to return to the U.S. to continue to continue studying after he finished high school. An American university recognized his work fighting for the rights of children and offered him a full scholarship. Iqbal would never get the chance to go to school in the U.S. or continue his studies at home. When he returned to Pakistan, he he, huh. he went to his uncle's house with his cousins. On the way, Iqbal was shot in the back and killed. No, no one knows Iqbal. Who killed Iqbal, but many think it was the carpet industry. Iqbal's death was a tragedy, but his life was an inspiration. He was only 12 years old, but he was a small, he was a true hero. In just two years, he helped 3,000 children become free. The courage of a small boy to stand up against the powerful carpet industry deeply moved people around the world. The children of Brad Meadows continue to remember Iqbal and his fight for the rights of children. Every year, they visit all the stores in their town and ask whether children uh, make any of the products they sell. They have some, They also have raised money to open schools in Pakistan and other countries and Iqbal memory. Child labor is still a problem in many countries such as India and Pakistan, but it's also a problem in some countries in Europe too. Around the world, there are 1.58 million child Workers between the age of 5 and 14 in the worst situation, children are forced to become soldiers and prostitutes. Even, rich, even in rich countries where child labor problems are rare, there's an, an economic connection. Who is making the pro products we buy? Could it be a little boy or a girl? Okay. Good. So we can go and check the vocabulary. You can see a lot of word here. If any word you under, don't understand, you can read here. So de defend, protect, or fight for. Okay, so defense, you can see here. Risk, take a chance with, expose to a danger. Okay, you can read all of this. So what do you think about this uh, Iqbal life? Please give me your thoughts from each of you. Okay, please. So start with a simple question. In your opinion, what is a hero? What do you think? Long? Mm. What is what is the hero in your opinion? A hero and just doing, helping and protect other people and doing what's right. Okay. What about you, Say. Same question. Oh, so he's not here. So, Ta, what do you think? What is a hero? Um, I think um hero is a person who brave um have a special ability or great achievement to help other. Okay. 
Do you have any heroes? Me? Yeah. My hero is my dad. And then describe about your dad, the reason why he is your hero. Um, because he tried so hard to work, um, like to earn money for his, for, uh, his child to go to good school, um, do everything for his children's safety, uh, mm -hmm. um, Uh, he's brave. Okay. What else? Mm. That, that's all? Mm, I think. Okay. Yeah, you can always think a little bit more. Okay, so this is the question. I need two of you to ask and answer the question from the beginning. Okay, let's start with... What type and say? Oh. Yeah, what type you can start first? Okay, wait, I think she cannot talk. All right, okay. Can you turn on the microphone and test it? It's, is it working? What I? Are you okay? Teacher, I, yeah, can I, you? What should I do? You can ask question and say answer the three question above. Only three this three question. Oh, hello, Sam. Hello, Jay. Uh, let, let me start with question number one. Uh, in your yes. opinion, what is a hero? Uh, in my opinion, a hero is a lifesaver that someone saves us or save everyone. Okay. I should. You can ask, ask the question. Oh, okay. Uh, in your opinion, what is a hero? Uh, for me, a hero is a person that uh quit with someone in a bad situation to be better. Okay. You can continue. Number two, do you have any heroes? If 
So describe one of your heroes and give reasons why he or she is your heroes. If not, why not? Uh, probably I think my hero is my mom because she's pay everything for my schools. She made lunch for me mm -hmm. and take care of me. And my dad work. That's all I said. For me, uh, there are more than one hero. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would like to describe <laughs> one hero is my mom. Uh, why, my, why she is my hero? <laughs> because she, uh, she, she does, she does many activity to support, uh, our family, especially children. Uh. Uh, to support economic uh, uh, education, uh, teaching. He also teach uh, the uh, how to be a good uh, attitude uh, in, in life. Oh. And um, the, some bad situation for me in my life, uh, that he she also uh give give the experience of of her life and uh he give he give the examples of. Mm -hmm. her life and other people that he he met the experience that uh, others uh met uh, uh and uh, she's she would uh She would like. Uh, she she wants she want me to compare uh, my situation to other situation, and oh. uh, and uh, uh, the most opinion to the side. Uh, from a bad situation to be better. Uh, in the better situation. Okay. Maybe that's all. Thank you. And I can yes, thank you. Number three. Iqbal was from extremely poor family. Why do you think so many people live in poverty? Do you think poverty is necessary? Explain your opinion. Hmm. But, uh, for me, uh, I don't think, uh, uh, many people that live in poverty is not, uh, necessary. I think that I need help with other and because they can could be lost their job or they was born in the one in uh in the past like not a new generation like made them not go to school. They could be live in poverty. Uh, 
I think I could say that all uh, in my opinion. I think that's all. Teacher Poverty, Brad, Captain Thai, Pip Grey Grow, Brad, Pip Grey Grow, Pip Grey Grow. I think Pip Grey Grow. Yeah. For me, why do you think so many people live in poverty? I think because low education. Mm -hmm. Do you think poverty is necessary? Uh, in this question, that means uh, poverty uh, 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 poverty not not uh, necessary. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think because of education, <laughs> low education and low opportunity. Mm -hmm. That's all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, love it and long. Go on number five, number number four, five, and six. Um, David, do you think you would ever sell your son or daughter under the same or similar circumstances as Egbo's mother? She sold him to a factory owner for $12 because she could not take care of him any longer. Yeah. I don't think I would sell my own son or daughter under the same or similar circumstances. circumstances. Mm -hmm. Why not? Can you repeat it? Why not? Yeah, why not? Because it's cruel and it's it like our own daughter or our own son. Why should I sell him? And one more. If like we're being poor, uh, or like poverty, it's still I cannot do that. Sell to sell my son or daughter. Yeah, for twelve dollar. <laughs> okay, go on. Or you can ask long back. So it Iqbal's mother sold him to a factory owned for twelve dollar because she could not take care of him any longer. Do you think would you ever sell your own son or daughter? under the same or similar circumstances? No, I would not sell my son or daughter under the same or similar circumstances. Why not? Mm -hmm. yeah. Because uh. As parents, we need to take care of them and provide them with our best. But you cannot because so poor. Even $12, she 
she she can like she showed her kid for twelve dollars. Can you imagine like what is going on? Okay, go on. Can you go on to number five or do I add more? Number five? Just go on to number five. What is your opinion of forced child labor? And if child labor is such a bad thing, then why do you think child labor still exists? That is what keeps it going. Teacher, I don't really understand child labor. You can ask your friend. Polakam kuma, kam lang polakam kuma, man. Right, cầm lăng cỗ ma là ngay cầm lăng. Hmm. Yeah. Child labor. Boss. Child labor cầm pin lơ. Cầm lăng cỗ ma là ngay. I think that um, it's very bad and cruel because like a child for forcing them is like you are very a cruel and bad person. Yeah. You see, this is question. Yeah. Come on, go on. It's a good question. Can you think about it and answer. It? And if child labor is such a bad thing, yeah, then why do you think child labor still exists? I don't really understand that question. Long, what do you think? Child labor still exists because some parents or people out there cannot afford uh, to buy food nowadays because of the inflation and rising tax. More and more people uh, all, almost cannot afford the regular water bottle. A regular water bottle cost about, if I remember correctly, maybe two dollars plus tax on top of it. Where is it? Hello. Yeah, where is it? 
Ah, in the higher ups country. Okay. Okay, so this is other question that you should learn how to answer the question. I will drop in the group so you can read again and answer it. Okay. And it's it's a good night for tonight. Bye, teacher. Yeah. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher.